All right, I'm a little bit late to this, but let's talk about Disney's presentation at CinemaCon for this year. The last presentation was Disney. Of course, Paramount left a huge shock in everyone's eyes about how great their presentation was, but Disney was last up. And did they did they surprise us? Yeah, a little bit. Some interesting news was released, but people there got to see a lot of footage, which we do have some reviews over. The first thing was that they kind of introduced their CinemaCon presentation with uh, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds' exclusive scene and basically telling viewers to turn off their phone and mentioning Secret Wars. I basically said that Ryan and Hugh in costume talking about Secret Wars rumors only be interrupted by a phone call, a silence your phone PSA. Logan goes nuts, cursing at us in the audience with a lot of F-bombs, which, you know, I really do respect them for making that kind of thing. And I think that they should release that online. Too many people in theaters use their phones now. It's ridiculous. You shouldn't even be pulling your phone. If you do, uh, walk down the little bit of steps, walk out, and then use your phone for a minute, come back, and you're not going to miss it. If you do miss it, go see the damn movie again, for all I care. But stop using your phone. But It is kind of cool that they mentioned Secret Wars. It does mean that they're planning just a little bit. And you got Disney's 2024 slate here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you got Kingdom, Young Woman at Sea is a Daisy Ridley film, I think. It's kind of a true story. I don't really care for it, though. Kinds of Kindness, Inside Out 2, Devil and Wolverine, Alien Romulus, A Real Pain, which I think is the Jesse Eisenberg movie, Moana 2, and Mufasa. Some some great movies here, some movies that I don't care about, some movies that will probably be pretty interesting. And then you have their future slates tease here with Lion King, uh, Moana, uh, Joy, Inside Out, Deadpool, Mandalorian, Poor Things, and... Um, 20th century a kingdom of the planet of the apes so that's really cool and then they did show 13 minutes of kingdom of the planet of the apes to the cinecon audience and we do have something here for us brandon davis says kingdom of the planet of the apes looks stunning young ape noah having to avenge his family and father uh, village and father incredibly immersive overgrown world tremendous performance captured and animated on the apes immediate depth and stakes looks awesome and i did hear that this is the first apes movie to really be released in imax which is kind of sad in a sense because they say they didn't even film any of it in imax which is it's, it doesn't make any sense why are you putting in imax if you didn't film it but the sound design is a bit better in imax you feel a lot more immersed a lot closer but it did i do wish that it was filmed in imax because you would have gotten more out of the scenes but it's really cool I, I, you've been hearing some great things from that footage Hopefully it's great. It's going to be two and a half hours to the longest one, but we don't even have to wait that long. Coming out next month, then they got to see the first 35 minutes of Inside Out 2. That's really cool that they got to show that much. That means they have a lot of hope for this movie. Going to be Pixar's, you know, comeback, big comeback. And we do have two thoughts on here. Uh, Inside Out 2 looks beautiful, colorful, emotional, and was surprised by one specific character showing up. The way they introduced the new emotions is so good. And they're not going to describe the whole thing because spoilers. And then Jermaine said the only bad thing about seeing footage from Inside Out 2 is that it had to end. We saw the new emotions, but then also some really deep, dark secrets. One of which is a hand-drawn cartoon character as well as a 16-bit Final Fantasy type character. Looks amazing. What? A 16-bit Final Can Fantasy type character? That sounds really interesting. It sounds like they're going all out with the characters here. And I heard I heard some really good praise for Io Debris' character, which is that little... Uh, blue one I think but yeah hearing some really good things there are some plot descriptions out there for the first 35 minutes if you want to find it go ahead I'm not going to talk about it here I don't even want to know exactly what happens but I'm hearing some great things so Inside Out 2 is probably going to make a decent amount of money so I'm very excited for that and if you're wondering if we're going to get any Fantastic Four news well we kind of did they're going to say it's filmed entirely in IMAX this is great you know we were talking about IMAX for a little bit I love IMAX I love when their expanded ratio like Dune was the whole movie so hearing that Fantastic Four is going to be in the IMAX ratio I'm very excited hopefully it you know turns out great hopefully it makes its release date next year but I, I'm in love with that logo I think that logo looks great love with the cast and I'm in love with IMAX so it's gonna be really cool and you have a funny piece of news Kevin Feige says there will be a Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket designed by Deadpool himself and they said it's going to be pretty gnarly and pretty gross. So I'm expecting something pretty interesting. But, you know, they can hype us up and it's probably going to be a pretty good, pretty big letdown. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it veers the edge of an R-rated popcorn bucket. And probably, sadly, it's probably going to be an AMC popcorn bucket. Sucks for me. I don't live anywhere near an AMC. I probably have to drive hundreds of miles to get one. So hopefully it's really cool. And hopefully, you know, they have them for Regals. But that's awesome. And then uh, Kevin Feige confirms Thunderbolts is the official title. We won't talk about the asterisk until after release. I have no idea as to why there's an asterisk there. So I guess he's keeping that pretty close to him. But he said, we'll know after it's released. 
it's interesting to have that there should i just call it thunderbolts asterisk that would be pretty cool i mean yeah thunderbolts the logo they didn't really talk about that too much captain america they talked about for a little bit they said it looks dope a clip was showcased and it featured lots of action harrison forge character wants to rebuild the avengers there are some official stills out. i will put that on the screen it looks pretty decent but yeah we're not going to get that for probably when it probably yeah another year was when it's going to come out so we have to wait a decent bit for that then the more juicy parts deadpool and wolverine they talked about this for a long time kevin feige says deadpool and wolverine is fucking awesome and he also said i'm allowed to say that because it's r-rated i i love kevin feige i love what he's doing here right now a little past decisions have let me down but hopefully we're on the right track once again less tv please kevin no more tv shows i don't need it but i love that it's r-rated it's gonna be great they got to see nine minutes of footage they're not showing too much but they showed a little bit probably you know the less important scenes and i do have a little bit of a description here the deadpool and wolverine footage from CinemaCon includes wade retired from deadpool and single then cuts to his birthday party where he speaks with blind Al. hey cocaine is the one thing feige said is off limits that that sounds awesome uh, there's gonna be so many surprises in this movie i feel like it's gonna be the movie of the summer it's gonna make a lot of money and <laughs> there's gonna be kids trying to sneak in but it's r-rated so they're not gonna be able to i'm gonna it's it's gonna be so great you know and this, you know since the when the second deadpool released i wasn't even old enough to go to a rated r movie now i am it's gonna be awesome to go see this multiple times there's gonna be great cameos in here i can't wait and then they had a new look at alien romulus was shown and then uh, I think so. Oh, yes. I actually, before we get to Alien Romulus, Jermaine said at one point in the Deadpool and Wolverine footage, Wade runs to the camera, grabs it, and because he does break the fourth wall, and he says, suck it, Fox. I'm going to Disneyland. That That's a great line. I, I love that a lot. I love how he just grabs the camera. Okay, now we get into Alien Romulus. Let's talk about it. I'm very excited for this one. Fetty Alvarez, he's going to do great. Uh, they got to see two clips of Alien Romulus, including practical face huggers and the chest buster causing a bloody spaceship crash. We all love those chest buster scenes. That's going to be pretty gnarly, pretty bloody. Hopefully, it's as brutal as his Evil Dead film. I cannot wait. And then they got to see Barry, Perry Jenkins, Moose Fossa, which I'm not excited for one bit. And he says, all new songs, but can't say who's developing them no idea who's going to develop those to be honest with you and he said the same production team production team from moonlight worked on mufasa uh i don't know about that <laughs> mufasa looks uh kind of uh not great but yeah i'm not excited for mufasa but i'll probably still watch it then the last one they talked about was Mo moana 2 which was uh, they showed a clip of moana singing a song focused on returning home i keep forgetting that moana 2 is coming out it just leaves my brain every time I don't, I forget when it's coming. I think it's coming out uh, November or something. I'll still go see. I love Moana 1. I thought it was great. But Disney, they actually, they actually did a pretty good job this year. I think I still like Paramount's presentation a little bit more. We got to, got to hear some very interesting things from Deadpool 2. Uh, I mean, Deadpool and Wolverine. Sorry, excuse me. And we got to hear some great things from Inside Out 2 and A Kingdom of the Planet Ape. They showed a lot of footage for those. Probably going to be some great movies. But Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be the movie this summer. I can't wait. Leave your thoughts down below on what you thought about Disney's CinemaCon presentation. But that's it. That's all the presentations for CinemaCon. Go to my other videos if you want to check those out. If you did enjoy, though, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and post some reviews, trailer reactions, all that. On the road to 700 subscribers, it's free to do so. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.